<laughs> Until you see my plus 14 bluff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sargo, why are you here? Do you know what's going on? Do you want to help I us? think he said why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> here for I heard there was an adventure. The Sargo came here. Okay. Yes, you can say there is an adventure where the stake is lives of many people and lowlands in itself. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling for some stone giant hunting? Well, fighting. Fighting with this, against the stone giants. Fighting with the stone giants? <laughs> <laughs> are we hunting that... for the stone giants? <laughs> well, <laughs> there are our enemies. We are to go to their fortress and save captive people, stop the ritual, and uh, kill their leader, I guess. Is there a princess involved? Uh... Tisarga always her tales of rescuing princesses. I'm afraid this is not the kind of the story here. Desargo, are you looking to find there, a princess? There are people to save, if that helps. But, mm -hmm. I mean, there are people to save, so you will definitely fit the hero role. Desargo must think about this. Desargo has thought long and hard, I'm joining you. <laughs> Desargo, Desargo has thought about this. Desargo will join. Uh... All right, that is, well, I look between myself, Merlo, Zazargo, and Cyril, and also f counting, there is in, in the corner. counting in his companion. Well, uh, five... I don't have an animal companion. Five people are oh. better than two. Yes. I thought you had a cat. I... Yeah, I haven't made the character sheet yet, so... Oh, you have yes, to, you have to really find a new friend on the way. <laughs> Hashtag he tried. Then I look at the, <laughs> uh, the rangers and I ask, you, I understand you cannot help us with people, but do you have maps of Iron Peaks? Like, do you have any knowledge about ways that could lead to that area near Jorgenfist? Let's see, overall maps, no, but for the most part, if one were to, if you were to head up, back up to Hook Mountain, and then you could just mostly follow along the river, there would be some rough spots, but for the most part it should be rather flat. <sighs> okay, I guess we'll uh, deal with If you don't mind us staying here for a few hours as we prepare and I guess we of discuss course. with our new companions and figure out what each of one of us can do so we can hopefully prevail in the upcoming challenge. Of course. Then yeah, I basically... I just look at Cyril if he still notes on Notepad and then I just... Yep go well i might as well start with myself i i, I don't think i said the name to you sargo uh name's ashuranti and uh, i am uh, oracle of life my main duty is or rather my main abilities are connected to healing so i'm mostly trained in keeping everybody else alive on the battlefield if needed and help them out too, so they could hit a little harder, uh, hit uh, more times, etc. I'm not of a much fighter myself, and then I like point at my slightly scarred eyes. And besides, uh, my duty bears a curse that I cannot really see beyond certain distance. I'm not good for scouting. You pause as Jisargo just waves in front of your eyes. 
Not that short distance, Zargo. God damn it. What? Fucking black tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you should also see another combination that I told you I, about. I saw that, that yes. Before. Okay, cool. Because I'm going to use that, and uh, Shiranti's going to love me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, works. I mean, I know, I know which combo you're I talking mean, about because you already mentioned it. Technically, yep. positive energy elementals are a third-party monster. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Positive. If they are, then I'm not going to summon them. Fuck that noise. <laughs> yeah, the positive no, and negative still... ones are. Oh yeah, here, frog pot game. There we go. All right, not summoning them. Fuck that noise. Oh, yep. You're right, thanks. That's cool. I will get to that immediately. Why doesn't it say third party next to the goddamn well? Yeah, that sucks. Because people are because people are stupid. And the SRD is like horribly updated by one person. I mean so that's his soul that he even wants to update it. Anyways, mm. I finish my introduction and I look at Merlo. Can you like please? Say to our new companions, what can you do so that we can know each other better in case of in terms of fighting? There's a probably huge battle ahead of us. Well, I poke people. Just maybe. Yeah, just maybe. Just maybe. I poke people most of the time. Mm. You're rather quiet. Uh, am I? Can you hear me? Yes. Now it's yes. better. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of turn my mic away. Okay, I poke people most of the time. They die most of the time, too. Mm. I poke, Jesarko poke people from far away. <laughs> Comrade! Mm. Okay. Gazi. I look at him, this, does Jar Zargo has like, do I see that you have some sort of uh, crossbow on you? As I... uh, no. Uh, no okay. crossbow. Uh, well, I got one thing from Orin, but I'm not really proficient in that, and I, besides, I have a uh, crossbow already. So then I pull out from a master of backpack, I pull out um, a composite longbow and uh, say, Well, seeing that you want that you join us and you will help us, I guess you will find better use from this. And I'm offering you a composite longbow plus two. With 20 hours. Master work as well. Yeah, master of composite language. Are you willing to accept? Jesargo will humbly accept this gift. He, as he takes it and stores it in his uh, 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 efficient quiver. Oh. And pulls out his own. Uh, and pulls out his own composite longbow. So, Merlo looks at Cyril. So you throw things at people, laugh at the, uh, like, make, uh, make funny faces and run away? Mm. <laughs> He's good at teleporting. Yeah. Just Horizon Walker is hilarious. Uh, I look at Cyril, uh, just wondering, can you specify what kind of spells are they healing in nature, destructive? Oh, all right. Well, well, we actually, our party actually needed that, so that's that's very. And yes, Argo wonders why anyone would throw swords. We have both, you know. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have a. I guess solid idea what we can do and how are we gonna approach this. You can fairly, you can be certain that I'm not really much of a frontline fighter, so ex expect me to be on the second line. So, but I will do my best to provide you with aid, healing, and etc. Uh, Zach, what is the time of the day currently? Mm, it's about midday. And how much 
time has passed in general since you know the attack and like it I'm, took I'm basically asking about a week and a half to get to Fort Rannick. Okay, so basically, technically, we still have uh, at least day or two to get to Jorgenfist and save these guys because they still might be alive. I understand. None of, like, wait, oh yeah, um, I think one of them, a few of them escaped. I don't actually think that many of them escaped, you guys. No, we killed a lot of them. <laughs> oh, right, because, them because there, there were bugs. Correct. Orin killed a lot of them. <laughs> Merla did kill a few, There too. were bugs that we... With people that then somebody freed because we found them last session. But you do know that they've been taking, like, there's been other hunting parties taking other people. Yeah, might as well save that. For some strange seven points and star ritual. Yeah, as, which is, as he said it. Which is probably nothing. As everything connected with a seven point. Hashtag not looking at Merlo. <laughs> <laughs> Very explicitly not looking at Merlo. <laughs> so, uh, I look at Cyril and uh, Zargo, seeing that you are, well, new additions to our party, and I mean, do you have any questions or do you need some specification or on what we are doing? What are we about to face? Um... Cyril holds up his notepad. Go giant free captives, celebrate with cheese. Uh, Cyril holds up a stone pad and just, it says how many. Okay, how much uh, captive you? said that in Jorgenfist there are, Jorgenfist holds seven tribes of stone giants led by stone giant warchief Mac Merlin. Uh, that has Enough. also possessed some kind of strong magic. I think one of his spells that he has, if I understand the description, is that he can turn you into stone, like turn flesh into stone by some means. Maybe petrification. Maybe. And each tribe, each of the seven tribes has dozens of giants, so it is a safe assumption that the entire fortress can hold at least 100 stone giants. Plus, he mentioned that there is an insignificant or significant uh, number of sub-races. So I am assuming he means goblins, for example, orcs, co kobolds maybe. Probably not kobolds. So, to answer your question, yeah, we will be fighting substantial force. He nods. Unless, well, I don't have means of doing that, but maybe your friend can. There is a potential that we could try to sneak in and kill uh, Mokmurian because he's the one that leads them. If he dies, then it will fall apart, but I shrug. I am a healer, not an assassin, so I don't have means and resources to aid you in sneaking in. Um, he holds up his notepad again, and uh, on it, after a little bit of writing, it says, uh, Sarah turned me invisible before. Okay, this is something that we could work with. Assuming, this is also the other problem, that the giants, I ask the captive if they have many spellcasters, he said that they don't have Many of them, they might have some shamans, but we we need to take into consideration that maybe they will have somebody that can see through invisibility. But uh, I mean, it's also it will also it will probably be easier if we could just be invisible, sneak in, and kill Mokmurian uh, before ever any. I don't know. Um, I'm, maybe he I'm holds up his notes. He holds up his uh, his notepad and says, and on it it says, um, "Sneaking in is good, but uh, he is the general. He will have backup, and he will call for such." And then he wipes it out, or at least turns the page, begins writing again, and it says, um, "Perhaps." 
taking people out one at a time. Or uh, slash guerrilla tactics. That could work. <laughs> Captive mentioned that they have other hunting parties, so probably they have patrols, etc. Obviously, um, we cannot waste too much time because we are on the time frame here and we don't want people to be sacrificed in a ritual. But this could uh, work too. I mean, this probably works because, I mean, you look, you are more of a fighter than me, so you, you know about this stuff. He writes again and he says, how much do we care about the lives of those people? Uh, well... As a good person myself, I, I kind of don't want them to be sacrificed, but you can look at this from a pragmatic way. Usually, if somebody is meant to be sacrificed for a ritual, the ritual itself is not a good news for anybody. That's not on the Stone Giant's side. He nods. Uh, do we, then he types, do we have a time frame? He types. Or he types. <laughs> yeah, now suddenly he has like a a uh, a, a what should we call it? One of those robotic voices that comes out from his side. Uh, he, he writes. Zach, fix me if I'm wrong, but my character says, "Well, considering it took me a week and a half to get here, it would take two weeks from to get from Sandpoint to here." Uh, at at minimum, I guess we might have a two or three days, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It would take about that long to get to Dragonfest. Yeah, we might not have that much time. I mean, we could move out tomorrow in the morning. That might not be too late, but uh, Ishak, uh, probably waiting too long is out of question if we want to stop them in time he nods uh then writes something again and then says and then on it it says um so uh no taking a couple of weeks to uh thin their forces then and then it says behind it it's guerrilla tactics and then uh across through it i'm I'm afraid that one, we really don't have weeks, as they would, and second, they would sooner or later, if this warship is as strong as they me mean, they might also have some intelligence, so he, they might realize that somebody is going after them and they might do something that will come. But yeah, you know. I'm afraid they, we don't really have weeks. We might as well, when we get there, we might as well look, like, spend a few hours, you know, looking around, seeing if we can get, take out at least one patrol, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know, my vote, my vote is saying that we don't have weeks, I look at the others. He, Cyril writes down again, takes him a little bit, and then says, no need to apologize, I'm just trying to get the facts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have weeks. This is the fortress of an army that's preparing for war. Well, I, I think they prepare for war. No, they, no, they prepare for war. Captive confirmed as much that they, in, their end goal is to conquer lowlands. Alrighty. Um, he then stands up, taps... Uh, Sarah on the on the shoulder, who's busy with, uh, who's just busy with uh, writing spells down. He shows her something, like writes something down, shows her it. She nods and says, "Fine, but it takes so much work." All right, fine. Uh, she begins chanting, um, because it's the end of the day anyway. Uh, begins chanting, then next to her, this translucent large horse appears and then she begins chanting again as the horse suddenly turns into just a massive muscle-bound dog that is standing on its hind legs and has a sword <laughs> what you pick oh that's oh, always uh can i make some kind of check to realize what kind of creature is that 
spellcraft for the spells too, and then it would be a planes check for the creature. Okay, spellcraft. I think I get it. Yep. What kind of spell? Uh, and then the knowledge. First spell, the first spell was a heightened mount spell. The second spell was an altered summon, alter summoned monster spell. Um, effectively, what this means is that Hound Arkham is going to stay around for at least nine hours every given day. Uh, yeah, and I rolled 31 on Knowledge Planes. Do I know it is a uh, Hound Arkham? Most likely. Um, ah, and then the, Hound Arkham. And then the, yeah. He he nods and then writes something down, holds up the note, and says, "Back up." Uh, I not definitely will be. Alrighty, I'm so tempted to. Uh, oh, oh, before I forget, to next day have her su have her summon a, a tiger, <laughs> a great cat, which she can do. <laughs> before I forget, I look between Sarah and Sarah. I don't know if you will be able to use it, but Orin also gave me this, and I start pulling out the files of Acid, and I look at Sarah. Do you want it? Orin thought you might. Uh, Sarah looks at them and says, uh, that looks like the drugs that are intended to use. Um, <laughs> I'm not a druggie, sorry. Uh, if he gave them to you, he either wants you to use it on your enemies or, you know, wants it for your own use. Watch out, it's very bad for the teeth. Um, they tend to vanish after one shot. And so does your tongue and taste buds and everything else. And most of your throat, to be honest, but you know, yeah. it's worth it, I tell you. <laughs> I chuckle. Uh, beyond that, it's just something for you to throw. So, uh, I chuckle. Yes, I know. Somehow, yes, I know. Somehow, it is very easy for me to imagine how you guys know Orin. Um, she then nods and says, I mean, I can, I can toss them, so I'll gladly take them. She says. Go ahead. I mean, this is like what Orin gave me to potential give to you, so if you can use them and if you want them, then Alrighty. be my guess. Alright. She nods and takes them, stuffs them in their bag, and then cracks her neck. Alright. Well, that's a good start. Anyway, I'm gonna add some spells on to my spellbook. Um, if writing out tomorrow, how much time does Sarah have, Zach? It's about two o'clock. Two o'clock. So I have until eight, six. How long? Well, you need eight hours of sleep. So, just depends on when you plan on leaving. Alrighty. So she will take. Uh, she will use the seven hours and stop at nine. Okay. And then I will add those spells to my spellbook. I literally can't fill. Okay. Doesn't it still cost gold if you're copying from a spellbook? It does. Okay. I'm subtracting it. That's kind of sad. It does, yeah. and I don't get it, but it's like writing utensils that you go through. Yeah. And, de and despite guess, that, you have, yeah. your, you have your mute fella writing like a madman to convin convince us, and he's not paying any money for it. Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's just... If you want, if you wanted to, you if you wanted to cost money, then I'll spend the money. If you don't, if you say I don't fucking care, then I won't. Oh, I I, I fell under the same as non magical ammunition and generic food and lodging. Alrighty. So, so like 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 you guys can probably whip up enough spare change to like pay for breakfast if you want to. Glorious. All right, I'll start adding those spells to her spell list. Because Grease is a very particularly helpful spell on occasion. See, like, like, I understand, like, some adventures or GMs, like, wanting that realistic feel, but it's like, it's mm -hmm. about the adventure, not the, oh, I need to spend this much money to be able to stay at an inn. As a DM myself, I kind of like the, the money aspect of it. But that's me because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Um, I can see why you'd like it, but like I'm just like I feel like it's more about the story and having fun, yeah. and having yeah. to play accountant is not fun. Yes, it is not. Not always, at least. Sometimes it's fun. 
other times it's not. When dealing with loot, it's fun. Yes. <laughs> and silent image times two is going away from this me. This loves loot. But then you get to the point where those points where it's like, oh, I could get this magic item, but I'm like two gold short because I had to go pay for lunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I, I put the uh, I put the picture of the Hound Archon Arkan in the um, in the chat in case you want to use it. It's like you want me to make a token out of it or something. It's, it's almost like I want you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> Because that one is going to be around for like the next two levels. I call him Bob. He's amazing. Mm. Uh, Simon, do you want to fly around on a flying carpet? <laughs> will uh, Will Merlo start singing? <laughs> uh, no, it's like you could grab a magic carpet and just fly around shooting arrows down at, down on the fools below you. Jesargo mm. prefers to climb. Ugh. <laughs> Just paint it to look like a cloud. <laughs> Just fly around. It's the Nimbus 9000. <clears throat> Whatever the heck that was. Mm. I mean, technically, technically, one of those rolls isn't above 30. One mean, of these is not there. like the others. Ah, you mean 30. <laughs> oh, crack your up, you. Like, technically you it's... You fucking nitpicker. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on? Did I miss anything? Uh, not not really, now. Really. We're now going to, uh, we're now slowly gonna head towards Jorgenfist. You start heading towards Jorgenfist. After eight hours of travel, every night, Though, um, I want to start making. Uh, where are you, Orin? There you are. Uh, I want to start making uh, some headway on a couple of other spells that I want to do. So probably take like two hours of the evening, every evening, in order to do that, uh, if if that's possible. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Um, so specifically starting, I will take one of the evenings, because it's two days, I think, towards there, right? How long was it again? Uh, two or three. Right. So I will spend one of the days for Sarah to at night learn Fireball. Um, and let's, then, do this, let's do this in order, because stuff's going to happen. Yeah, so first night, Fireball. And I just want to note, whenever Jisargu can, he's going to climb up the nearest tree or anything. Just so he's on a, a higher position. You you would know that mountains tend to have barely any trees. Especially these mountains. <clears throat> Thanks. Hashtag you tried. <laughs> Hashtag I tried. If there is a tree, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what would be great is if someone knew tree shape. Oh god, that'd be terrible. The ultimate trap. <laughs> I, Imagine I walking from into a day. meadow and all the trees turn into fucking ogres or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want my plus one height bonus. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so all of the um all of the whatchamacallits. Um the first night, I will do Fireball, if nothing happens on the second day. Well, the Let's first uh, night is at the fort, correct? Yes. All right. Those well, guys that's, are that's, traveling on the second point. day. Yeah, that's the first night is in the fort, which I do the seven spells, the seven hours. Someone roll me a d4. All Four children show up. They also steal four of your kidneys. All right. Damn it. Martin, roll me a d10. Alrighty. Uh, now, there's ten orcs behind them that steal ten, uh, nine of your fingers. Nothing seems to happen on day two. All right. As you start traveling. Like, like, like day one of traveling, but... Mm-hmm. It's, it's cool. Well, the good news is that if somebody gets to me within 30 feet, unless he's undead, then I will know 
there is somebody there. You'd still know they're there if, because you've blind sense, remember? Yeah, that's too. But blind sense isn't that OP. Blind sight is. Wow. You you do know they're there. You just can't see. Actually, blind sense acts like a blind sight, not blind sense. Surprisingly, I think. Um, so as we're, as, we're, as we're traveling, I want to. Sarah would probably walk up to uh, Jizargo at one point. So you, cat person, tell me about yourself. Jizargo is Jizargo. Yeah, very descriptive. So something like, I don't know. What about your life? Is there anything of note that you've been doing? Tell me about Gisargo yourself. Has been, Gisargo has been wandering a lot. <laughs> Gisargo has seen many things. All right, so tell me about a couple. Gisargo yep. will tell you when he's ready. Samuel, God roll me a d10 for the, sec for the second day of traveling. All right. Ooh. Yay, second one. The curse of okay. my shitty roll. You guys continue. can continue your conversation. Alrighty. Uh, end of day three. False. Nope, no, no. Nope. Continue your conversation. Okay, okay, okay. Um, she nods. Uh, anyway, that was strange. Um, so you're not gonna, you're not really willing to tell me anything about yourself then. Because, you know, I do toss things around, and I generally only really fight with people you I You were interrupted trust. by a roar. And there we go. I will toss. I'll just toss you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're going to toss me? Yes. Maybe. Knowledge is nature to recognize what the roar is. Oh, Sarah has knowledges. Yes. Yay. Awesome. We okay. have a knowledge monkey. Knowledge. Dungeoneering, nature... It sounds like a bear. Alright. Well, there's a bear coming, guys. Uh, Where's Argo coming? went to watch? Uh, from above you. I look up. <laughs> like, because like, like, you guys are like, walking along, so like there's mm -hmm. the river down there, and then it's like going up with the mountains. Mm -hmm. And so they're coming down the mountains at you, and you see two stone giants and three dire bears. All righty. Yep. Do we have a, a map for this? Uh, I am grabbing one because it's gonna be fun. Here, ah. it, it, it's it's not correct, but it's been so goddamn long since I've played a spellcaster, so it's gonna ah. be fun. Oh no! Hey, it's, uh -huh. again. Why is, it's the old team. <laughs> We're all back We're together! All back. We're all <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> Put X's oh, no. over all of their faces. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Only Merle is all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, so we need. Hashtag Merlo tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I fucking did. <laughs> uh -huh. Wild empathy count on dire creatures. Yes, it's still a dire creature. It's like it's still a dire animal. So it right. would. Just keep in mind that in order to change someone's dis wow, Ashranti, you're tiny. To change a creature's disposition to you takes a full minute. All right. So effectively 10 rounds. 